Welcome to this short video where I'm going to show you how to capture a trace for an intermittent interfering signal. What we have on the spectrum analyzer today is a view of the full FM broadcast spectrum from 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz. And I know that an illegal or interfering signal occasionally appears at the frequency where I position the marker. What I'm going to illustrate today is how we can use the save on event feature to capture that trace when the illegal signal appears. And this may only appear for a short period of time during the day. So recording continuously can give us a lot of data that's not interesting. So the first thing I need to do is set up a limit line for this spectrum. And I'm going to use an envelope limit. And in the envelope limit, I'm going to set the maximum number of data points of 41 and I'm going to have a, a limit offset of 6 dBs which is the power level above the known signals that the limit line will fit and I will select a slope limit because that gives us uh, a better ability to look down between the individual transmissions. So when I press the set envelope the instrument automatically creates for me a limit line that creates a mask around the known and legitimate signals. Now what I'm going to do is go into the file save on event menu and tell the instrument that I want to save a trace every time that limit mask is broken. So I just select limit crossed. I can select single or continuous. If I select continuous and the interfering signal is present for a long period of time, that can save a lot of traces. So in this event, I'm just going to save a single event. OK, so in a, in a real world, what you would now do is leave your analyzer monitoring until the illegal signal appears. I'm going to uh, turn on the signal generator to simulate that illegal signal. And there it is. And we can see that the mask has gone and that we've captured that trace. To view the saved file, I then need to go into the file menu and select recall. And from the list of files that are shown to me, I select the one that um, I have just saved, that's been saved from the save on event. So I select that file, press open, and we now see on the display of the spectrum analyzer the trace that was saved when the limit line was broken and we can see the time that that limit line was broken and the frequency and magnitude and position of the breaking of the illegal signal. So I hope that, hope that shows you how easy it is to create a limit line and create a save on event situation to record illegal or unwanted transmissions. Thank you.